Tyson. And I'm showing, where's my camera at? Oh, I'm showing up these lips. Am I looking in the right camera? Because yes, y'all keep are. screwing me up with these cameras. This is the industry standard. I'd like to welcome our guest this week, uh, rapper V. Henny. She's going to be joining us through our topics, and we're going to find a little bit more <laughs> out about her. You want to start by kind of introducing yourself? <laughs> um, pretty much V. Henny from the Bronx. Um, just doing the music thing, and I'm glad. You know, Thank you guys for having me here. You ready to get it cr crunk with us? You already know. We got some crazy topics today, guys. So hopefully she can handle it, and hopefully Sean Anthony Smith won't give us so much of a hard time. But this is the industry standard, and you never know. And she act right. I won't give her a hard time. <laughs> How was your weekend? My weekend was good. I did, yeah. good. I did laundry all weekend. So that was boring. You were domesticated. I did okay. patron I shots yeah. this weekend. Patron <laughs> shots. I was skiing. Oh, um, nice. I took my daughter and my nephew. That's what you got uh, running your pantyhose. Shut up. <laughs> I took them skiing, and my daughter skied down a hundred foot wow. hill. Because she's a white I girl. I was completely amazed. Because your daughter's a white girl. By the level of skill this little, this cookie, little cookies thing are, was cookies, doing. Cookie's a white girl. Whatever. You raise her. You raise her like the white folks raise their kids. No, I'm just way, raising no her well her. rounded. She ain't got no hood in yes, her she no do. More. Ooh. Yes, she do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, we want to get started with our first topic today. Um, it's going to be all things Chris Brown. Over the past, we took a little hiatus for the past two weeks. And in that time, I think Chris Brown pretty much lost his mind. Or the media are portraying him to look like he lost his mind. Okay, let's do a little timeline. Okay. He performs at the Grammys. Mm-hmm. Wins a Grammy. Right. Okay. Performs again. Mm -hmm. Then all hell breaks loose. Because why did he perform twice? I need to understand why he performed twice. He performed twice Was because he did somebody? his numbers. You have to understand. The Grammys is particularly... My, my bracelet is like falling apart here, guys. Um, the Grammys is about the numbers. Yeah. Okay. So whatever his record sales do, that, that's what it is. Okay. So his album, Fame, sold... A lot, so he's considered one of the most yeah. popular people in R and B. Okay, and so, so that's why they're like, okay, we need Taylor to get Swift, Chris Brown to. Taylor Swift is the most country fied chick in the world, so and she wins all the time. She, so yeah, did she, she does. did she perform twice? But Wait, do you really want to see, see Paul twice? Exactly. You know, why do you want to see Chris Brown perform twice? He's a good first entertainer, all, though. No, no. He he first of all, when he said, uh, to me, it was the same song all over again. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't catch it. I well, I mean, the Grammys he, is pretty. It was a continuation you know, of the first song. It is what it is. It was a continuation of the first song. Okay. Well, apparently, there's a lot of people that feel like you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not mean, against him. What, like what is this woman beater doing? Performing okay, and winning but, the Grammys. Okay, Miranda Lambert, you know. To, yeah, they well, need he to get over that. First of all, and then she got. If he beat her ass, then maybe she'll understand what a woman beat her. First of all, how are you gonna like? How are they gonna knock him for that? And then he's making a song with Rihanna. Isn't she the one who should be knocking him? I mean, this maybe is she did true, knock him. That's but, why he ended up beating her ass. But, <laughs> maybe it's not funny. We do not condone. Hair. Hair we like do not mess, condone though. domestic violence here. The thing about that, it is, there okay, was my thing is, okay, married. Miranda Lambert, she goes on, she's performing in the college, and she holds up this sign saying, you know, take notes, Chris Brown. Okay. Wow. Now, my thing is, in her song, she, she, she talks about, you know, avenging herself as someone who has been, you know, abused. She's like, you know, kill your husband if oh, he beats wow. you. I mean, <laughs> her, she has very violent lyrics. Can so I ask she's you a telling question? him... To take notes. Can I ask you a question, though? Yeah. Um, Kim, where you at? Should um, she be telling Rihanna to I'm take right notes? Yeah, basically. I mean, um, who the hell is? Who the hell is she? Miranda. She's a famous I mean, what, um, country singer. She's a famous country singer, and I'm now sorry. she's crossed the I'm barrier sorry. by talking about I'm Chris Brown. I'm sorry. And I think that and she has I'm a new sorry. album out. I believe that it's, this is a stunt that she's pulling yeah. to make herself more relevant. Her sales. But, yes. Yeah. Okay, what I mean Because like, you're three years too late with um, the with the bash Chris Brown campaign, Miranda. Um, yeah. Um I don't care about that. Okay. I don't like her. Well I don't even know her. Okay, well, since she was so verbal on Twitter, you know, saying, you know, we're acting like this guy didn't beat up his woman, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't believe that people are acting like it didn't happen. I believe that people are like, Okay, this happened, he apologized, he pretty much promised that he wouldn't do it again. And so far as I know, he haven't beat a bitch ass. But, I, well, mean, I mean... You know, yo, yo, yo. Not, not okay. Rihanna looked crazy, though. Like, 
Well, a lot of people no, no, are no, saying no, that no, she's no, looking no, crazy no, like no, this because listen. she's dealing internally with that incident. That's bullshit. Um, that, no, that's bullshit because first of all, when 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 he bit her, like as, as oh a black God. man, when he bit her ass, <laughs> that's because she was whooping his ass, and that's why he. Bit that's why I, I think. I know when I'm gonna bite you, Christy, it's because you got the best of me, and the yeah. best of you have to. <laughs> so he bit her ass. Well, and I mean, but at and the end still, of the day, she didn't look like she was winning. No, she the didn't. photograph whatever. didn't look like a winning no, whatever, photograph. Whatever. Whatever. That, that, I, that, I agree with him. Now, now with me, photographs look like she was guess winning. Guess what? Let me use this because that was her without makeup on in general. That's how she looked like without makeup really? on in general. He really? wasn't whooping her ass. Busted, ring around, he bitter, black, though. black eyes. I believe he bit her. Really? I believe he bit her. Really? I believe ring he around her neck. I really? believe that Chris Brown is crazy and he's going to be a drug addict and probably die from drugs. Well, but the thing is, one, my well, she Well, she has promised that she's out on a yeah. crusade Chris to destroy Brown, Chris just, Brown's career because she does not. She's very, very. But my she thing can. is, Miranda, listen, listen, listen. did you send Rihanna an email yes. when she got beat up? Did you send her flowers? Okay. Did you listen come to, to her carefully. side? Exactly. Did you show her What's any her type of support? So my she thing didn't is. She did acknowledge her three years ago. This is what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Stop the presses. Yo, where my camera at? Yo, let me explain something to you. Miranda Lambert, go sit your ass down, because Chris Brown is from the hood, and we're going to still buy his records no matter who ass he kicked, even if he kicked your ass. All right, so he's speaking sit your for ass himself. Down. He's speaking for himself. Sit your ass well, what down. about um, WWE's punk? He goes ham, too. He sees him in the airport, and he, he sees Chris Brown in the airport, and he's like, I wish you would beat up on me. You know, i like to challenge you to a fight, Chris Brown. And Chris Brown, Brown should have whooped his ass in the airport. And Chris Brown was like, yo, just go sit down. Right. Yo. Leave this, this boy alone, yo. I, I no, feel no, no, like no, it's, no, no, no. And you know, I feel like it's at the point now where he's kind of being bullied. I yeah, think yeah, he yeah. is. You know what I'm saying? I think he is. It's people, like, where's his mother at? People need to, like, leave him alone already. If I was his father, but then, once I say that he's being bullied and I'm finally getting on his side, then there comes this story about how he steals <laughs> a woman's phone. He didn't steal phone. I don't think phone. he steals phone. I don't think phone. He for snapping a pic thing. of him. No, but guess what? A he nice fan. Listen, listen, he probably told the hoe, stop taking pictures of me. You know how it is. Yeah. Listen, he said to her very nicely, you see what I did to Rihanna's ass? You take one more picture, I'm going to bust <laughs> oh your ass. Gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And she probably said, yeah, right. Do it, and I'll sue you. And he, she took a picture, and he snapped that camera, and that was it. Like, I give bet me that she won't do that bitch. no more. That's what he said. Give no, me that no. phone, bitch. Penny, I, I mean, he said, no I mean, he's <laughs> no, no, I mean, but, <laughs> but, but I mean, is he showing us that he's obviously not in control of his anger anymore? No, and so what's wrong with him being a little angry? Ike was angry. Ain't nobody saying that about him. But I, 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 think he, I think he does need anger management. Yeah, I think he does. But I think he busts out windows. No, I, he's snatching phones. I think he just he's beating up girls. Anger management. I, I think mean, he need, his mother needs to manage him. He needs better management of his life. You know what I think? He's going to end up drugs. He's going to end up listen, on drugs. That's what, this, is what yeah. I'm, this is what I feel he's like. Be buried I feel black like he's star. either going to end up on drugs or he's going to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah, he is. I feel, yeah. Like, I feel like at this point... He needs to step outside of the limelight and just really get himself together See, and give people a chance to just... But they're not going to let him do it because yo, but, right now he's too hot. Right yeah, now he's too hot. After that Good Morning America thing, whoever his camp is, y'all need to get a hold of this young black man because after that Good Morning America taking his shirt off and running around the whole thing oh, like no, that, that, somebody was... was supposed to catch him and put him in a noose any damn way. Yeah. He needs a straight jacket. He's crazy. Maybe he needs but they, Rihanna's crazy, too. But they too. said the same thing with, remember with Britney too. when she went haywire. But see, that's the thing. But see, yep. the difference with mother, Britney is she was only damaging herself. Yeah, but... And, you know and, what I mean? And, he... And her family cared about up a chick, his mother. He's busting out windows. He's they, yo, yeah. snatching people's phones. But that's because he did... I mean, everybody deals with their anger or pain differently. That's how yeah. he's... De how, that's probably how he's dealing well, with shit. And well, guess what? Chris Brown, my advice to you is... Stop acting like a complete asshole because no, my, my, it's gonna no. it's gonna play it's gonna play out. My gonna my, my thing my thing is this. I want you to do either or. I want you to either be that complete asshole, do not delete your tweets, do not, you know, go into hiding, be who you are and don't care. But don't what? be so sensitive. Yeah, or yeah. take a five year hiatus and just do films because you're a good actor. Right, and he's give a good people, singer. Yes, give people he's a, a good chance joke. You're to miss you on no, the scene and, and, and just really tell you're getting a little too old. Yeah, you, right, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah you know, you're, you're, you're reaching, like right now? He's gonna be 25, like, oh, you know, my dude, my dude, my dude, my dude. Listen, you know, he's, he's Christine, reaching that, that yeah. age Christine, where listen, it's time bro, to calm bro, down. Bro, 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 it's time for you to start collecting your cash, start having kids, get yourself a real house, stop making noise, act like a damn adult. Yeah, you're 25, yeah, then 25, yeah. once you're 25, then comes 30, then comes 40, you yeah. need to chill out, and your mother, sweetheart. 
Stop taking this little boy's money and condoning everything that he's doing. You need to step in and start doing something. I mean, and, and the thing Do with, something with, and this with him boy, and, and Rihanna getting back together, I mean, yeah, I a, lot that, that's explosive. a lot of people that's explosive. feel like they shouldn't be together. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Let them be. Like, I kind of feel like this. Everybody know a female or two or yeah. three yes. <laughs> that kept going back to somebody who dogged them. And I'm going to tell you and, like and, I told And, and, and exactly. it's the same people what? that saying she shouldn't go back to Chris Brown that's what? dealing with the abuse and we gonna end verbally, it this, emotionally, within their own relationship. Yes. And we're going to end sure. it on this note, and I'm going to sure. say this. Rihanna, what you need to do is take you some boxing lessons and buy you some boxing gloves and whoop his ass back this time. Because <laughs> whatever you get is your fault for going back with his ass. If he whooped that ass again... Don't tell us in the press. And I don't think that people should say that don't she's, she's being a bad role model if she goes. She never says she's the poster child for domestic violence. But, but, she never but, stepped but, up and, and, and became but, the Christine, advocate but, yeah. Christine, for but, domestic violence. But, Christine, but, but the, my, my beef with her is that don't get on TV, on primetime TV, and cry and talk about, oh, what he did. In the, don't do that then. But that take was that only, that no, was only nine months favor. after the but incident. Christine, Christine, take yeah. that ass this is three she years let it, later. She let, it, she let it be after that. Yeah, after but, like but a year what? after that's that. That's what I'm that saying. She, she didn't say anything. But, she didn't do any interview. That was the only time she ever spoke about it. And that was but Christine, it. Christine, Christine. And I mean, she was hurt. I mean, they loved each other. She was hurt. The deal is this. The deal is this. Yo, if she know what she getting herself into, she go back with him. If I was her oh, uncle, yeah. brother, father, well, yeah. I would tell her, boo boo, bite in the your same ass. way. Look at, for example, Halle Berry when she was with Justin. Just me, I'll pop you in your mouth. Oh, you stop, stop, yes. You, like, so you, just, you I'll know I'll what? All right, see, this is when he starts getting, he starts getting crazy around this time. Oh, right. 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 Let's go to the man in this corner. Because he gets, he gets crazy around this time. I don't know what it is. I don't I don't know. Topics I got boxing lessons. Exactly. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hold my earring. <laughs> Topics one through four, I think he just gets crazy. And then he's like, you know, I, I always got to cut him off around his top. So let's get into the manager's corner. Okay, guys. There's some stuff going around. I want to just kind of put you guys up on some stuff really quick because we got our guest. I want to get back to her. Um, Sean Pediddy Combs, congratulations. You're launching a new um, network. It is called Revolt Music Channel. He said he's not going to be playing anything whack. It's going to be all music related. So, I mean, it seems to me like it's going to be another music choice or MTV too. Um, but I am happy to see that black people are now getting into network ownership. So thumbs up. Um, Pooch Hall, mm -hmm. you guys know him from the game. He's Darwin Davis. Um, he may be leaving the game next season. He just got um, cast in a pilot that's entitled Ray Donovan. Um, it's a pilot about a guy who's a fixer for the rich and the famous. When you get into a, you know, a tiff, you call this fixer guy. Um, Pooch Hall is going to be playing the character Daryl, which is a young fighter um, that goes to the gym that the lead actor's family owns. So I don't really know if it's a really, I mean, Derwin, do your thing. If you got to, you know, leave the game to go pursue something on Showtime, I'm all for that. But why leave a leading role to go and be a supporting Hmm, I don't know if that's a great idea. You may want to rethink that a little bit, um, but only time will tell. Also, I have TBS is picking up a second season of For Better or For Worse, the Tyler Perry pilot that, that, that came out last season. Um, it kind of disappeared. I didn't know where it went. Now I know it's coming back. A lot of people hate me for this. I'm a fan of TP. Y'all know this. I like For Better or For Worse. I think that if we give it time, it will develop and it will become one of everyone's favorite shows. Um, last but not least, Cash Money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this out just a little bit and I'm going to get, you know, the other people up on here opinion. Um, cash Money. They recently went on a signing spree. They signed Christina Milian, Busta Rhymes, Limp Biscuit, Mystical, Bow Wow. They have Drake. They have Nicki Minaj, and they have this, like, really hot new rapper named Big Chief out of Dallas. I mean, is anybody going to get any shine with all of these names on one label? I mean, V. Henny, you're a rapper. You've been doing this for a while. I mean, Cash Money comes to you and say, we want to sign you. 
knowing that they have this huge roster of people who already have names, who's already been established, <laughs> how do you, I mean, what, what do you do? Is this just you something that I mean, personally, I think they're signing a lot of people. You don't work with Young Jeezy? <laughs> And Nicki, 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 Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Yeah, Nicki is not with I'll Cash probably, Buddy. Oh, yeah, Jen Jeezy. Okay, I'll sorry. probably oh. dress up as a nun and be with Nicki Minaj. And, well, ain't mystical yeah? ass nah, in jail? I mean, nah, jail? I think he came out. I personally, I don't know if I'll sign with them, but... um. Yeah, if they came to you right now and offered you a great deal, you wouldn't sign with them. That's bulls. I mean, I mean at it, what it, age... It'll be, it'll be mystical and be any. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But what you as an artist, do you feel like you would be able to like really not shine? Like yeah. That? No, I don't. I don't think so like that because they're gonna right now. Like what he his main focus right now, who's making the money is Drake and Nicki right now, mm -hmm. and everybody else. They it's they could try, but main like the mainstream right now is those of them and. I don't know. I mean, Bow Wow's album was supposed to come out December 14th. It's always pushing back. Sometimes it's always pushing yeah, back. It's, it's like, I mean... Listen, but you know what, though? Like, I'm, you know, like Busta Rhymes? Busta Rhymes, uh, he's a beast. I mean, he's, no, but, else, I, I mean, don't, I, don't I, mean I love him as a... As a as, Limp you know, Biscuit, the okay, they, they're yeah, going to yeah, get yeah, yeah, shot okay, because whatever. they're different. But, 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 but Busta Rhymes is going to sign with I'm them? Not, I he's know. already signed. He's already signed. Yeah, he's already signed. So, like... Buster Buzz. But remember, Buster, he's in the East, so it's like... No, but Buster Buzz, what's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> Is it that bad, my dude? Yes. Now he going to do the chicken circuit? Yes, the chicken he's going to do right it. Now? now, Sean Diddy calls, all he's going to do is have bad boy videos on his channel, so I don't even want to watch it. He's going to probably have bad boy, maybe one or two cats. Who calls an right asshole now? if he don't do both shows? He's, a, he's already... It's bad enough he's a bad actor. Now he wants to move on to someplace else. I mean, and Tyler Perry, that show for better or worse... It's, it's worse. So we ain't gonna oh talk about my it. God! Just and, talk um, about TV. It's worse. It's worse. It's <laughs> anyway, it's worse. I want to. I want to kind of um, but you know, reel it in and kind of like v get into to V Henny. What would you? How would you describe your style of, of hip hop? Is I, it like more like um, Nicki Minaj? Is it more like you know hardcore? I, I would say I'm very versatile. I'm not Nicki Minaj though. But I, I I speak a lot. Like I, I get very lyrical and I get I try to hit you know, I try to rap about things that I go through, experience okay. and stuff like that. It's, I'm not gonna say I'm hardcore, I'm not gonna be like, Oh yeah, I'm I'll be shooting dudes at the But you're I, not conscious it's not I, conscious. I could be a little bit conscious. Okay. Is it political? No, not too political. But I could be I could so be conscious, but then I could be as well t as um you know, I could do party scenes and, and party songs and whatnot. You know, that's why I say I'm very versatile with my music. Okay. So um, but I'm not a Nicki Minaj. I'm not gonna so where just you get the do anime. Yeah, where did you get? Let's say Henny. Now, what is that? What is the, uh, what the V Henny stand is for? Uh, obviously. Because I know what Henny stands for. But what Hennessy. 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 Come on, I've been drinking Hennessy since you know. Was my camera alcoholic? <laughs> alcoholic, yeah. And he alcoholic. Should know. You know. Um, and the V obviously is the first initial from my my name. Okay. Now, what, how I started? I think it's Becky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Okay. How I started was V Hennessy. Okay. And then due to, you know, I don't like, you know, just in case I ever get famous, I want to get sued for Hennessy. Okay. So I shortened it up to V Henny and I still with it. And you were born so, and raised in the Bronx. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, from Hispanic. Yeah, parents? yeah, Puerto Rican. Okay, Look white. Puerto Rican, Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. <laughs> She's repping Puerto Rico. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now. Right now I'm working on my second, um, I'm working on two projects. I'm working on my second mixtape mm -hmm. and I'm working on a project. Right now I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do right now is do international. Oh, I'm okay, trying to go okay. overseas. So I'm working on a project to do, to probably try to hit Japan and, um, mm. I'm working on other people's mixtapes as well, being featured artists, mm -hmm. and I'm just putting myself out there. Out there. Yeah, I'm, right now I'm going to Miami to meet up with a few people in March and um, network some, with some DJs. And so do you think that you'll be able to handle instant success? Yeah. Um, I think I can. Yeah, like, I if, like I if someone just hears your music and is like, all of a sudden you're like everywhere doing everything like do you feel like you're ready for that that you can handle See, what that she asks I think you, I can you, handle what she asking you okay. bitch what you going to do bitch what you going to do <laughs> 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 bitch what you going to do <laughs> I mean because you know I mean we have we have we have on sanity right you know uh Jeremy Lin from the New York Knicks um one minute he's on the bench 
just trying to do his thing, sleeping on the couch. And now he got every time he's going to Yeah, and the next minute, shut up. I want a chicken, I want, I want. The next minute, they're like express ordering his jersey. Right, and, and I want chicken wings and french fries. And, and every time I see him, I just want me a chicken wings and french fries. You're so silly. <laughs> no, no reason. I mean, and, 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 and I mean, to me, a lot of people were wondering, was he the real thing? I mean, do you think that... He, no, because when Miami played his ass the other night, his, they set that ass but, down. But, but I noticed since they bought the, you know, the... The, 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 the hood? The, not the hood. The starters back. The hood. Mm -hmm. It's been kind of like... Hey, the hood set The Knicks ain't been down. doing so yo, hard. Yo, that's true. I know, yo, they need to get rid of them. That's, what, that's how I feel. Yo, Carmelo Anthony... I love Lala. That's the only reason why I like you. <laughs> but other than that, they need to sit your ass down. And the mm -hmm. other one, they need to put your ass back where you came from. It's and just true, let though. the Chinese boy play. The and JR, boy. the one that they got from overseas. Right. Yo, let them two let them rock out and, and do their thing. Y'all go gonna sit your million dollar asses That's down. That's what I play. feel like. That's go, what I yo, yes. Let it, the Knicks get to the playoffs for one yeah, second. Yeah, it's true. Like. They yes. spent mad money on Carmelo. And it's like and Lynn is doing what we thought yeah. Carmelo was going to do. He's doing what both of them is doing all in one. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Bro, my dude, Stardomaya, sit your ass down. <laughs> Come on. You next I mean, never I mean we could definitely, you know, relate that. Well, okay. You know what, though? We're we taking our show to one of the games. But you know what? I'm going to be sitting in the front. We could definitely <laughs> relate that to, you know, the new ones coming up. You know what I mean? Like, you, you don't want to give new people a chance, but then when you do, they become even better than the rookie, than the hey, other veterans. Don't you think the same thing? Should Stardomaya sit his ass down? Oh, my down? God. Will you stop bringing Dez into this? I'm sorry, Des. I'm sorry. Everybody He's don't trying to that. focus. <laughs> um, well, recently, because you know with fame comes drama, and even poor little Lynn Sanity, Jeremy Lynn couldn't, you know, get around it. Uh, ESPN kind of decides to. They called him a chink, call him call him a chink. in armor. <laughs> They called him a chink in armor. That's crazy. First well, of all, first of all, this is this is this is how bad it gets. Well, first of all, there was someone who wrote it, mm -hmm. and then there was a completely different person who actually read it on air. My thing is this: the person on air. At what point do you look down? You're in control at a certain point, because once you're on the air like we are, I can just say something and. If it, if it gets said, it gets said. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. You know, he could have just not said it. Why not? He could have just not. It's Rexis. So they say a lot of things about us as of color and I know, and, and, but so you know what? They call him a chink, they call him a chink. I don't think anything wrote the word. It's kind of classy. They suspended them for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> they suspended them for 30. You know what? It's not, it's, it's not classy. He doesn't want to be called a chink. So what, he doesn't what does want to be, be called? Like, I don't want to be called a, nig a niggerette. Like, if I'm on, you know, on that niggerette from TIS. Are you, are you feeling like a niggerette? You know what? <laughs> you need to shut up. You need to shut no, up. I don't anymore. think anything is Just so like wrong. people used to call Hispanics back in the day, Spit. mutts. It's mutts. Mutts? Yeah. You call your mutt? Who the hell wants to I be never called heard that? that. No. I heard Spick. I ain't hear no mutt. Yes. Who the hell wants to be oh, called that's, that? That's bad. Say that they're, they're just, they're all, you know, Hispanic people are only I don't black, mean, I don't, and, black listen, and white people. I don't get my, I don't, I don't mind if you call me a nigger because I'm a nigger. It's not nigga, it's nigger up. That's what that's you know what? You just ignorant. You just ignorant. See, you call me no, a nigger. No, because that's you what just, the word nigger No, it does. Ignorant. You, you're ignorant. She, 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 she okay. called me a nigger. Okay. Isn't he ignorant? You're ignorant. Say it. I'll pop you in your head. I'll be you more right now. You he always threatening to fight somebody. <laughs> I think you do For need really? to go he in needs and talk to Chris Brown and yeah, go get some anger management. I'm going to whip his ass in the anger management. Go get some anger management or something with your life. I'm going to pop him in his damn man. I'm bite him in his Okay, so on a somber note, on a somber note, I want to get this in before, you know, we have to tie it up and go. Um, The National Enquirer.